Hi, I'm with one of the first boxes that I built here. Now these are two by sixes that I picked up from my dad. Um, they were just left over from an old project and he's not using them anymore. These lights are half out, but half are working. You may be wondering, what are lights doing up? Besides the fact that they're pretty, do I need another reason? Um, they're actually to help increase the warmth once I put the grow fabric over this. Now these are, I used to make hula hoops, I was teaching hula hoop classes. I had a lot of extra hula hoops that were starting to fall apart. So instead of repairing them, I turned them into coat frames. <laughs> also, there's the barbed wire that's here. Lift it up. These I believe are 3 eighths of an inch. These guys, I, I think I purchased a few of these. They're at least, I think a dollar a piece. So this bed was very cheap for me to build, although it's going to cost me $75 to rebuild. I'm going to do that later. But we'll worry about that another year. This year, let's just get stuff in the ground. So my plan for this box is right now in the spring, I'm going to be planting a row of onions, a row of spinach, and then um, radicchio, which is my first time doing radicchio, and some lettuce. Now these are all cold, hardy varieties that I'm growing, so they're going to do great underneath my frost cloth, and that they'll be done by the time uh, I'm ready to put something else here in the beginning of June or on Mother's Day. So this box I'm going to be trying the four sisters, the three sisters plus amaranth. First time trying that, so I'm excited. Um, but at, when I first put this box here seven years ago. I used to get a lot more light. I have my compost pile right there, and I think the trees are really loving it because they've gone crazy. And now they shade this garden a whole lot more than they used to. So as soon as summer gets here, I'm gonna plant the four sisters in this half, and the other half gets so shaded, but lettuce will still do good right there because the rest of the garden tends to be too hot for my lettuce. So, but for right now, I have some seeds to plant. So, the fact that this garden was practically free, um, other than the fact that I put compost in here, my soil is a little alkaline. I just tested it, so I might have to get an amender for that. I don't know, I'm trying to do the no, like letting the soil do what it wants thing. I have to, I'll have to think about that to bring down the pH because it's too alkaline. Uh, but I'm going to plant some seeds. So in the grand scheme of things, to maintain this box cost me about $20 in seeds, in which those are seeds that I get to reuse next year, so not even that, except I do like a lot of variety, and that makes my seed buying more expensive. And I'm direct sewing. The fabric I'm going to put on, that, um, that lasts for five years. It's about $10 for me to put fabric on a garden this size. So it's, it's a very uh, cost-effective thing to do to have a garden. This is a 4 by 8 garden. And just using supplies you have around makes it very affordable to do a garden. I highly suggest that when you're building a garden, to very slowly work your way up to a large garden. So I first planted these two boxes, then I created some more boxes. And I did go a little bit fast, and it became overwhelming very quickly. So definitely... Uh, maybe grow by one box a year. <laughs> when I first put in these two boxes, this was the one I grew in in the first year, and that's the one I put compost in, so the next year the soil was all ready for me. Okay, so that's another great tip. So if you don't want to grow in your box the first year, you can use it as a compost pile and then let it rest over the winter and it's ready for you. Uh, what's this? You know I found, this is like metal, I don't even, oh, it's an old tag. How crazy is that? It's an old copper tag from one of my garden beds. This compost in this garden was half mine and half mushroom. So I found a fork in it. <laughs> one of my forks is a peach pit. There was a bunch of coconuts. <laughs> okay, so let me just plant some, I'll plant just a little bit of seeds. Let me show you what I'm going to do. So I've got this. Onion, I have some more onion coming in the mail. I have some radicchio. I have 
some lettuce, some spinach, this is asparagus, put this in the asparagus bed. I accidentally used up all my spinach in another bed, so I'm waiting for more to come. But um, all I'm going to do is create a trench. Ew, that grows compost. My compost is very lumpy. There's Mr. Worm. Always treat your worms well. They're like the guardians of your... I consider them the guardians of my garden. I use it from the bag and I always use too much. So just sprinkle it and you can do them a little bit thicker. And the benefit of doing it a little bit thicker is then you can just pick it as baby greens initially to thin it out. And then leave them spaced out once you have time to get the heads. Okay, so that's done. This row, I believe, is radicchio. I have I have these tags here. They're copper. They're nice. They're about a dollar a piece. I find that the chalk marker works really well to draw on these. So I would say that this bed probably cost me $25 a year to grow it with the seeds and the mushroom compost. Ooh, these are fun seeds. I've never done radicchio before. And the seeds are very cool. This, the, the color of this radicchio is really beautiful. It's like a pink speckled one. I'm looking forward to it. But again, all of this stuff, stuff does really great in uh, cool weather. Now, I already have some frost cloth set up ahead of time for my other garden. The seeds are already in there. And I checked the soil temperature, and the soil temperature, the day that it snowed was about 40. And they do want it a little bit warmer, but I'm hoping the lights will help heat it up a little bit more. And over the next few days, we'll, we'll get some nice warm temperatures. And so this row is going to be onion. And I have this candy hybrid onion. And then I have a red onion coming in the mail that I'll do on the other half of the garden. Again, you can sow these a little bit heavy and then pick them as spring onions to space them apart. Perfect. Now, I ordered a new frost cloth but it hasn't come in yet. I got it from groworganic.com. It's the Ar Argavon 30. It gives you eight something protection. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna show you the difference between what you get at the store. Protect these seeds. I spilled seeds recently. I picked them all up, <laughs> it was hard. So this is one you're gonna get from Menards. And the downside of this is it doesn't do well over the hoop. It's only five feet wide. And so you can see if we try to put it over the hoop, it's not going to reach the ground. So those, the Arabam, are much wider. Um, and so they're really great for putting over the hoops. That's not necessary right now because what I can do now is put them on the ground and I can even use these little tags to stake them down. And until they pop up, and even if they did pop up, Generally these, anything that's cold hardy, it's okay if they touch the frost cloth. I have kale over in that bed. Some other things that I want to make sure stay nice and warm. Um, so I'm a little bit more picky about that bed. But eventually I'll put the frost cloth on here, I like to say, with the Christmas lights at evening. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> so I'm going to put this frost cloth down, but this is definitely something you can still get um, at Home Depot or Menards. And it's just a cloth that costs about 20 bucks. It's a five by 30. My bed's only eight feet, which you can imagine this is gonna be way too bad for this big for this bed. I'm gonna have to go pick up some scissors. I already cut a piece of this off for another garden. Pick up some scissors to give it a snip. So um, $20, it's less than $10 per eight foot. So it's a really good deal. Just to give you, it, it gives you about two to three weeks to start earlier. And I think that's worth it because that can be the difference of 
using your garden twice in one year, getting a spring crop and a summer crop, or just getting one crop. And that's definitely going to not only give you more food, but get you more bang for your buck. Each seed packet is only $2. So I spend about $10 for the seeds here. And then I think it's another $10 for the zucchini, for both beds. The zucchini, I have winter squash, I have some uh, beans, the like the dried beans, like the uh, like, like pinto beans, but they're not pinto beans. And then the amaranth, and then the corn. I think it's a pink corn too, so it has to be exciting. So anyways, I just wanted to show you what is possible with your garden. And like I said, it probably it's cost me about $25 a year to add more to this garden. And the setup was under 50 bucks because of the used wood. But it's getting an upgrade next year. So thanks for watching. If you like this, let me know. If you have any questions, absolutely ask them. Um, if you have any tips for me, I always take that as well. I've been gardening for about 15 years now. And my dog says that this video is over. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.